Hey friends, I am at the Magic Kingdom. I am so excited to be here. I woke up this morning, checked the app, and look at that. Reservation for Magic Kingdom, the day of. So, let's go do this. I just love hearing the music as you're walking into the Magic Kingdom too. Magical it is. And speaking of music, one of the reasons I wanted to come to Magic Kingdom today, other than ride some rides, was to actually get some shots for a project that I'm working on where I took the Disney sing-along, the old videos, you know, and I mixed it with another song and I kind of want to put a little montage together. So I'll give you a preview of that right now before we actually start the vlog and uh, I guess we'll start uh, right on Main Street. Today we're going to the happiest place on earth. Let's begin on Main Street, just before the Magic Kingdom opens. I hope you guys enjoyed that. It's not finished yet. There's still some things that I actually want to fix and improve on it. But like I said, it's just a little project where I like mixing different music together and then making like a little video montage. It's really fun for me to do. So let's actually start our Magic Kingdom day. This is just so fantastic right now. I mean, I know attractions might be a little bit busy because the park's attendance actually went up, but this is just great to see Main Street like this when you're walking in for the first time in a couple of days or weeks, months or years. It's just really cool. Another thing I've been really loving to do is actually looking in at some of the places that aren't open yet because you get to see it all empty. I'm gonna show you the ice cream parlor here. So strange seeing things like this, but it lets you be able to get a good look at everything. Really awesome, isn't it? I think a good spot for us to start our day off is head straight on over to Tomorrowland. I would love to ride some rides over there, maybe Buzz Lightyear, Carousel of Progress. These are the rides I love. I love Carousel of Progress. I really wish the People Mover was open. I don't know what's going on there, but it still hasn't opened yet because they have these big gigantic tarps right here next to the purple wall you can see the lights right here for the people mover track i think that's really cool isn't it i'm gonna see what the wait time for buzz lightyear is you know i'm not too much concerned about being a galactic hero i actually just enjoy riding the ride itself shooting a little bit but i don't go crazy if i'm with somebody and it's a competition then it's game on but if i'm by myself a nice little casually ride through a buzz lightyear is actually really fun oh and it's actually saying five minutes that's really awesome a five minute wait well thank you oh boy Thank you. Thank you. Oh boy. Oh. You've got the sticks, Space Rangers. It's a crossbar. Climb it. See. 
Planet Z. Oh boy, look. Oh, the lights are on. What? Look at that up there. That is so awesome. And honestly, I really didn't do that bad. That's just like me one hand is just like kind of hitting things. I know all the tricks. Definitely a sanitize after that one. I was so close to lining the camera up looking like it was shooting out something. Look at that. And look at the cool merchandise they have over here at Buzz Lightyear. That Duke Kaboom shirt is awesome. And then I also like this Toy Story button up. I think there's more people actually waiting to ride the Carousel of Progress than there were waiting to go on Buzz Lightyear. I don't blame them because it is a really catchy tune. Oh, it's waiting like that because it's actually not working. It's actually down for the moment. That kind of makes sense. I was going to say there's a big group here and then a big group on the other side. Maybe we'll swing back and say hi to John and his family when we get a little bit more time in the park. Another thing I've been wanting to ride is Dumbo. I love riding Dumbo. Right now it just stopped raining so it's the perfect time to do it before it starts drizzling again. They don't have the play zone open right now but this is still such an amazing looking queue. I love all of the lights and I love the circus music in here. Really cool and it's air conditioned. Oh which one do we want to get? We got blue. Oh we're doing orange. Yep. Oh, it's wet in here. Soar in the tower. Dumbo! Oh boy. It's happening. <laughs> we gotta go all the way up. All the way up. Fly, Dumbo, fly! <laughs> My feet are getting soaked, but I love it. Look at all the beautiful scenery. I'm sure it's a little windy, but that's the castle. Astro Orbiter right over there. And that's the crane that's building Tron. It started raining, guys. It started raining in like literally seconds. Wow. We're getting soaked. Uh-oh, we're in trouble here. Oh, they're stopping the ride. Look at the puddle on the ground here. There's nowhere to go. We're gonna have to make a break for it. Let's get over to the Little Mermaid. We made it to the Little Mermaid. I hope I didn't get water inside the microphone. I'm sure we'll find out when we're editing this. But I don't know why I thought it was a good idea to run for the Little Mermaid. For some reason I thought the queue was actually all like indoors. But like no, like we're outdoors. And it's got these big holes over it. So you're getting these gigantic water drops on you. Now we made it inside and look at this. This is that scene where Ariel is actually floating up. Look at this stuff, isn't it neat? Wouldn't you think my collection's complete? There was nobody actually waiting to ride a Little Mermaid right now, too. Where's this taking me? This way. Ah. Hi. Here we go. I almost set off to Neverland. That's what this story's all about. Hey, where you been? I've been waiting for you. Oh, this is such a great story about how Ariel became a human with the Guys, guys. 
got a favorite dancing fish? Because I do, I'm gonna show you my favorite dancing fish. It's not these guys. And it's not them. This guy! <laughs> I think now maybe we'll go from under the sea to the hundred acre woods and ride Winnie the Pooh. Honestly, I just don't get this weather. One second it's dry and you're walking down Main Street. Next second you're riding Dumble and it starts pouring on you. They got it roped off right now, but this is Eeyore's gloomy place. Right in there, that's where he likes to go and be gloomy. Shockingly, the longest wait of the day so far is Winnie the Pooh. Uh, we've already done Buzz Lightyear, Dumbo, and Little Mermaid, and now Winnie the Pooh. Winnie the Pooh is like 10-15 minutes, but everything else has literally been a walk-on. And it's not the crowds that are making it a walk-on, it's the rain. Because it was really raining hard a couple of hours ago, so everybody left. And here come our honey pots. Not this one. But I'll take that one right there. Oh, they're the same. Oh, would you look at that? I realize some of these rides you ride like it's a bicycle. The East Wind traded places with you ask me, he'll never reach that tree. This is my favorite part. doing that amazing sanitation that they're doing to the poop jars. It's really awesome. Now that we're done with Winnie the Pooh, I'm thinking about getting a snacky poo, but I don't know which one I want to get. I did pass the Peter Pan float and I was like, no, I don't want ice cream. I really don't feel the ice cream kind of mood right now. I think it might be this rain. I might as well stop down here and see what they got to snack on in Liberty Square. But wow, look at this, guys. This is really neat, isn't it? There's more ducks than there is uh, people, actually, on this walkway. Look, here comes two of them right now. Seriously, I'm not kidding. There's a lot more ducks down here. 
We got a whole entire duck gang. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, thirteen ducks. And it's actually been a while since I've had something from Sleepy Hollow. I think that's what we're gonna do. Maybe a funnel cake. Yeah, a funnel cake with strawberries. Yeah, and whipped cream. Oh yeah, that's the stuff. Oh boy, and here it comes. I just seen them pass it off for it to get its strawberries and whipped cream. I'm excited. I don't think I've ever had the strawberries or whipped cream. I've had funnel cakes before just with the classic sugar, but never all that. Nate? That's me. Yeah, you got that. Thank Ooh, you. Thank you. This looks pretty amazing. We'll take a seat right here. The ducks are surrounding us. I really want to give them some food, but it's really not okay to do that. But look at this guy. He knows what's happening. He's catching on to the ducks game. The ducks, they got a game they play. First of all, let's just admire this actual funnel cake. It looks so delicious. They definitely put as much sugar on it than they usually do. That's probably because you're getting enough sugar from the whipped cream and strawberries. But this is going to be delicious. And what a view. Oh boy. That is just too good. Much too good for ducks. Much too good for ducks. All right, guys, it's getting serious. They are really surrounding me. I'm sorry, I just can't do it. I can't do it. What's this guy coming over here for? I can't do it. Are you talking now? I really like how it actually gets a little bit soggy from the strawberries, but on the top, it stays crispy. Very interesting. All right, I think we're done here. Thanks, guys. That was really good and very delicious. And you know what's funny? Is there was a cast member taking photos like across the way. So she was actually taking photos of me eating my food and the ducks actually surrounding the table. And because uh, she took them spur of the moment, she said I have to go out front and go to the photo pass place so I can get them. I'm excited to go see what these photos look like. Oh, and you guys remember I said I'd like to take a look inside different places that aren't open yet. So let's take a peek see inside the Crystal Palace and see what that looks like when it's empty. Wow, that's so strange, isn't it? And for some strange reason, I just pictured Eeyore standing in there kind of just like by himself like this. I could totally picture that in my head. That is so strange, isn't it? Can you imagine Eeyore just standing right there? That would be so cool. Just be sad like Eeyore is. It would be cool, but also I think it might have been pretty frightening. Like, <laughs> wow, I can only imagine that one. We're gonna head into Town Square Theater to the photo pass spot so we can see our duck photos that the lady took for us at Sleepy Hollow. I'm excited to see how those came out. And this is how they came out. Look at this. I look so happy. <laughs> that was so cool that she started taking pictures of this, isn't it? That was so awesome. I didn't want to show you like uh, all of them because even though I get them for free, I didn't know if I can film like the actual screen. So I was like, oh, but Janie, thank you so much for taking those photos. That was an excellent move from a cast member to be like, that's cool, let's take some photos. I felt very honored. Anywho's, I think that's gonna do it for me today. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye.